What's up everybody, it's Joe from Complex. We're in Seattle at recess. Back for another episode of Sneaker Shopping with Macklemore. My first pair of Jordans, mm -hmm. first grade, bam. We're gonna get his current thoughts on everything that's going on in sneakers. Things that inherently bother me about the culture totally. that I also love. Let's do it. Let's start with the obvious. You're wearing the clay suede Yes, sixes. sir. Yes, Internets sir. Internets went crazy over them. How did that come about? We played the Jordan High School Classic okay. in, uh, in Brooklyn. Honestly, they were like, yo, we'll let you do a Jordan if you uh, play the show. And I was like, okay, yeah. dope, what Jordan? They were like, you can do a mellow. I was like, dope, that's really tight. Mm -hmm. I would also love to do a classic Jordan. It just so happens last year was the year of the six. Yes. It just so happens that my favorite Jordan is the six. Okay. Living the fucking dream, yeah. man. My first pair of Jordans, mm -hmm. first grade, bam. Nice. Fours, classic. Mom wouldn't buy them for me. Grandma came through for Christmas. Wow, nice. Grandma came through. They always Shout out come to my through. grandma, man. It still ranks as like one of the best moments of my life, getting mm -hmm. that getting that shoe and literally putting it on and like going outside and being like, I can jump higher. This was that shoe for me. We're kind of the same age to wear mm -hmm. anything we missed out. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we could get them now. The great fives. This looks like a pair from 06. I really wanted this shoe in 06 when yeah. it came out. And then they came back out. Yeah. Um, I love this shoe. But then like everyone had it. Mm -hmm. And there's that like exclusivity with Jordans, which is what I also like kind of fight with in my head. Like not all kids can afford these. It, it, it feeds into consumerism, it feeds into capitalism. Like there's things that inherently bother me about the culture totally. that I also love. But the quality on these ones, the leather, I was disappointed in. Which happens from time to time. Yeah. Um, you know, this is the tumbled leather on the on the Lannies. Not my favorite colorway. I wish I would have done this leather in this shoe. Yeah. It's refreshing to hear someone who actually cares about the quality. And of you know, course. I think Jordan now, it's good that they're doing the remastered outros. They listened to the yeah. people. You know, we see some of these shoes, you kind of talked about the yellowing and, and, you know, a lot of consignment stores sell worn shoes. How pristine are you or precious when it comes to your sneakers? In theory, I'm all about beating up shoes. Like, threes are great to beat up, mm -hmm. ones are the best to beat up. Those are the two like that I like to yeah. just like wear the shit out of them. And they look, some of them look better even beat up, Absolutely. especially the threes. The fours even, particularly the, the, the retro ones. The leather is just not, it, it's not like the OG leather yeah. where you beat it up and like the creases made it something. It's a little bit different of a crease. Did you get the Oreos? Did you see the remastered Oreos or? Um, I didn't get the Oreos. Okay, they're actually over here. I mean. This is more like a, a three leather, the tumble leather and that you could crease the shit out of them yeah. and it would look dope. They killed it with this. Talk about meeting Jordan, and you actually got a picture with him, and he's notorious for not liking to take pictures. Yeah. You're like, what do I talk to Michael Jordan about? He's like 6'6", six, six, obviously, and like his daps, like, <laughs> and you're like, Fuck. though the six was still in the design phase. Okay. I showed him the shoe, and you know, I, I have two pairs. I got the greens and the clays, and he was like, I don't like green. <laughs> he was like, fuck green, it reminds me of some Christmas shit. Like, no one's trying to wear some Christmas shoes. Like, <laughs> just completely discarded my colorway, and I was like, Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do it. You yeah. fuck the game up, but <laughs> I, I hear you. We'll get some sneakers and see which ones you want to buy. Let's do it. Any catch your eye off the bat? Yes, a lot. Okay. I really like these. Okay. These I've wanted. Cool. I might have to fuck with those. Hey man, I found a few things that I think you might like. Though. Uh, the military the military from 06. Which ones worked out? Uh, I'm going with these. Okay. Military force, classic. This is a little too much for me. Fair. 3M. They did a good job. Playoff 12s. Sick. Don't want to see me on the basketball court playing horse in these. <laughs> so these two, and then I feel like I have to get some baby shoes. The shoes that my baby will be in. Bam, 
great fives, and bam, Olympic sevens. Winning. Young, young Patriot. Winning already. I feel good. Yeah. I feel really good. So, Macklemore, thanks for coming through. As you guys could see, he kept it realer than maybe any guest we've had so far. Walked out with a few pairs of sneakers for him and a couple for his new child. Congrats, man. Thank you, bro. Let's do it again Good soon. Good to see you, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I did a lot of Payless shoe stores. Really? <laughs> now, because not only you can't go wrong with denims. Bang, bang, oh, and then just go. People say black guys have big dicks. It's doing things for themselves, you know, really. So. He looks like he's in pain. Right. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs>